Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at installing and updating to Mastercam 2024. First you want to go to Mastercam.com to download Mastercam 2024. To download it, click on the login. If you have a login, you know, enter it. If you forgot your password or email address, there's recovery tools. Or if you don't have a login yet, you can choose to create one. Once you're logged in, it should take you right to the My Mastercam page and you can start the download right from this Download Now button. Typically, the download will be placed into your Downloads folder. Once you have it downloaded, you can simply double click the EXE to start the installation process. You may get a pop up dialog. The dialog will ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer. Just choose Yes. Installation will continue. You get a few choices on the installation. You have access to some utilities, um, some documentation. These things are also part of the install. Once installed, they'll be available on your PC. I'm going to click on the Mastercam 2024 installs. I'm going to choose Eng English and Next. You now get a screen where you can choose to configure your Mastercam. I'll hit the Configure Mastercam button. You can enter your name here and your company name if you'd like. You do not have to. Do not change these default file paths. Even if you want to work off of a network share, it is best to install locally first. And then once you have done the migration process and updated your 2023 files, then use our network uh, share setup guide to, to set up a network share. So we it, it can be problematic if you do not install locally first. So do not change these file paths. Then I can simply hit next, agree to the license agreement, next again and the installation um, proceeds. Once the installation is complete, you can choose to exit the installer. You should now have a Mastercam 24 desktop icon. You're going to want to launch Mastercam for the first time. The first launch of Mastercam will take a little bit longer. It needs to build some folders and registry keys the first time you launch. The first time you launch Mastercam, it asks if you want to join the customer feedback program. This just records what functions you're using in what order, not any of the actual data or your part files. You can choose to join or not. Now that I have my Mastercam 24 installed, I don't have any of my posts or tool libraries or custom library files. So I need to migrate my files, update my files from 23 into Mastercam 24. To do this, I go to File, Convert, Migration Wizard. Select Advanced. I'm going to start by just updating my posts. You could update everything in one stop shot, but uh, if there's any errors or anything, it can be a little easier to identify where the problems are if you separate it. So I'm going to do it and kind of two stages. I'm just going to do my post, then everything else. So if I'm just doing my post, I just need to check the top window here. If I'm doing everything. I need to check both boxes. Notice I am working off of a network share in my 23. Mastercam will automatically find the newest version you have installed, previous version, and path to that, whatever version that was set up, you know, network share was set up for 23. I do recommend migrating first from 23, you know, even if it is a network share, you migrate to the local drive here first, so I don't change this. And then once everything is working, I've tested it, then I'll set up a network share again for 24. If you're not updating from 23, if you skip 23, you know, just that, that path should match the, the latest version you're using. So to only update my posts first, I'm going to check on the file types box here that unselects everything. And to update your posts, bare minimum, you want to pick control definition, machine definitions, post files. That's bare minimum. Now, there are some other things, depending on what you have, that you may also need to check. If you're unsure, just check them. Uh, but if you have any custom posts that were purchased, You'll also need to choose miscellaneous data files that grabs the license files for those posts. And or if you have mill turn option when you go to machine here, if you if you choose mill turn, if you have mill turn product, those posts are these mill turn machine environments. You need to check that. Those are all my post file types. So I'll hit next. Now I'm just updating from 23, so I'm just going to have only that one checked. 
Um, these don't hurt, but if you did mess up a previous update and have extra files in there, this can help clean it up so it only updates the 23 files. I'll hit next. Everything looks good, so I'll hit finish, and my update process starts. Once updating the post is completed, you'll be able to choose if you want to see the results. I'm going to hit yes. I'm basically looking to see if there's any errors. There isn't any errors, so I should be good to go. I do want to point out that uh, there will be some files skipped. If there's any files that are you know, have the same install timestamp as the installation, they will not be migrated. I can close the event log. And now my posts are available. So if I go to machine, mill, I'll have to manage my list. And now I can add my migrated posts. Now, if you are going to proceed to set this up as a network share once this is done, you may not want to add your machines yet. If you do, you'll have to re-add them after moving the files to the network. Otherwise, they will continue pointing at the local path. Now I can run my migration again for my other files. I'm going to go to File, Convert, Migration Wizard, Advanced again. This time I'm going to check both boxes. And once again, it'll default to the uh, path used by the newest previous system. Um, if you're updating from a different version, you may have to correct this, or if, it is, if you didn't have 23 installed, it'll automatically point to the newest version, 22. I'm going to turn off all file types again. Now at this point, different people use different libraries. Not everybody uses the same things. I'm going to go through the commonly used ones. But I'd like to point out, if you click on any of the file types, it gives you a brief description. Or if you have any questions, just you can pick them all, or you can contact us. I'm just going to kind of point out the more common ones. So first, I have default files. I'm going to choose that. That's uh, your toolpath defaults. So if you have absolute set instead of incremental or where comp, I'm going to then choose tool libraries. Those are any, you know, if you edit, set up any feeds and speeds or any tool libraries, that'll update those files. Uh, if you have a purchase post and have machine simulation, you want to check machine simulation, that'll update those files. Uh, if you have any custom setup sheets that you want to migrate, you want to check that. That'll update those files. Now, this does not include, there is an add-on setup sheet called X Plus that you'll have to download and install the latest version of. Configuration files, that's your file configuration. Uh, that's like your graphics screen color and tolerance settings and import settings, file configuration. Lastly, I'm going to do the workspace files. That's if you've customized your interface, if you've made any customizations to the ribbons on top or the right-click menu. Those are probably the more commonly used ones. Then I can hit Next. I'll limit it to just the 23 version files again and finish. And then my updating process will begin. During the update process, you may receive this message. It's basically saying that there's a file in 23 it also exists in 24 with the same name, and how, how do you want to handle that? Um, this has to do with tool libraries, and I want my you know my edited tool libraries from 23 to be migrated into 24. So I'm going to choose replace original file. If you're uncertain, you can back up original file and replace it. That that does replace it puts the 23 file into 24, but it keeps the original 24 file there as a backup just in case you want to go back to it. I'm also going to apply this for all following conflicts. I'm going to use the, choose the replace option. Once again, I can choose to view my results of the migration. I'll choose yes. Uh, really, I'm just looking at if there's if it says errors in here. I don't see any. Once again, it's normal that files are skipped. Everything looks good. My Mastercam 2024 should now have all my tool libraries, posts, and settings from my 23, and I should be ready to go. Yeah.